What's up guys, Scott here. I'm gonna make this a really quick video unpackaging this amplifier. So I ordered this amplifier from a gentleman and he shipped it to me and I'm kind of horrified by how it's been packed. Honestly, when I saw this, I thought I was gonna throw up. I made a video a few weeks ago about how I pack and ship amplifiers. If you're interested in seeing that, I'll put the link somewhere up on top of the screen here. This, on the other hand, is not how I would recommend packing an amplifier. It looks like it's been packaged with basically like one or two layers of this bubble wrap, like these small bubbles that you use for like small little delicate items that you put into a box. And then the entire thing is wrapped with what looks to be an entire roll of duct tape. If you can't tell by now, I'm pretty nervous as to what I might find when I open this thing up. Generally speaking, amplifiers are pretty sturdy, strong things, but Still, I wouldn't ship it like this. I mean, if this thing was dropped, even from the smallest height, who knows what kind of damage could happen to the amp itself? Um, not just the casing of the amp, but the internal components. The tubes? The tubes! What about the tubes? Okay, I've delayed enough. Let's just hope for the best and see what we find. There seems to be a box of some sort attached to the end, so maybe I'll start there and see what the hell this is. It kind of smells like oranges. It's a tangerine box. This is honestly the first time I've ever seen a tangerine box used for shipping something. Okay, so we have a used tangerine box with a plastic bag and more duct tape wrapped around it. Pretty nice looking cable. So, okay, it's a start. <laughs> it's not a tangerine. Ooh, and a fairly dirty looking channel switcher. Uh, I might be giving away what's in the box now. And the power cable. Okay, the main event. Honestly, I, I still don't really know where to begin. So it's got a bit of a smell. You know that charming vintage amp smell? The smell of stale cigarettes and spilt beer and wasted dreams. Okay, you ready for the big reveal? Ta-da! This, my friends, is a 90s Mesa Boogie triple rectifier two-channel Revision G head. It looks pretty good. I don't think anything happened to it on its journey. Nothing major looks damaged, nothing looks broken. The tubes, from what I can tell, have no physical damage, at least from looking at it from here. Yeah, so what's left to do is to fire it up and make sure everything works. All right, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you wanna hear how this amp sounds, tune in next week on The Scott Bino Show, where Scott Bino plugs in the amplifier. But seriously, in the coming days or weeks, depending on my schedule, I will do a demo of this amplifier so you can hear how it sounds. If you're interested in seeing that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Also, if you've ever had a shipping nightmare and something was just horribly packed and maybe even arrived completely damaged, leave a comment in the comments below to share your story. Peace.